Polis. Going to the Herapolis now. I will give you spare time, it's just about 100 meters far from the place that I give you free time. Okay. And I, I do recommend you to see that place. I don't know, have you ever been to the FS? Many people say something about FS theater. Uh. It's very big, Okay. it's not as beautiful as this. Oh, okay. Alright. Uh, this is another view from the Western Stones. When you walk on site, you will see this view. Only four thirds of missing, we are waiting now. Yeah, okay. Okay, no problem. No. Ah, by the way, I want to tell you why it is called Yara Polis. Yara Polis. Yara means in Latin Holy. Polish means city. This is the holy city of pagans. Who are pagans? Pagans are people who believe different kinds of gods. I mean mythology. You can believe different gods. It's, it's very normal. But in uh, Roman period, pagans uh, were believing different gods, such as Zeus. You know Zeus. Yes. Hera. You know, Hercules is half god. Yes. Poseidon, right? These kinds of gods were their uh, gods and goddesses. But this is not uh, uh, related with this Zeus. This is related with Hades. About the fifth century BC, people had recognized a small cave which was steaming. Ah, oh, did everyone hear? Yes, yes. Okay, we're let's enter and we can, we can continue inside.
Small security check also. Will we get cursed if you're there? Yes, there's Will we get cursed if you're going there? Uh, I can protect you. <laughs> That's good enough. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I've been there many times and I'm never cursed. <laughs> okay. Maybe today it could be different. <laughs> if something happens, you can carry me, right? Alright, no worries. Okay. I'm a little bit heavy, then maybe you can leave me here. <laughs> Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's go to the so, white terrace. There are a lot of people actually, so we can take turns, don't worry. Okay, okay thank you. Wait, wait. I'm going to go According to the archaeologist and liar of the, <laughs> I didn't read it, said that if anyone who construct a big structure next to my tomb and cows to stay under the that structure shadow oh. first, second, if anyone who disturb my body, my sarcophagus. My rest of family, or Tom, had has he had good wishes such as can't find any job on the earth on the sea. It's good one. Have different kinds of illnesses which are not curable. Could marry, but not have any children, right? And the underworlds got Hades punish him with the different types of blah 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 mm -hmm. I can't say anything about this so it's called because of these good wishes <laughs> cursed Tom and there is an interesting structure over there and on that structure the name of a man and his wife's name was over there sorry I couldn't speak now this structure is called Tabula Ansata. He was a quite rich Ansata. man. He wanted this structure, and there were kind of two uh, sarcophagus up there. But when you look around this uh, necropole area, 
many kinds of structures, psychologists, uh, had been disturbed or, you know, collapsed, mostly because of the earthquakes and the robbers. Of course, money is living here where I work. But if they have car, they will they would punish very hardly. So here are police had kinds of uh, earthquakes in the past, especially in the first century at about 17 years, uh, destroyed. But the second one, which happened in the 6th AD, in the first century. All structures destroyed and the Roman Empire reconstructed all mm. city from the beginning. That's why I told you before most of these structures, sarcophages, tombs and graves are belonging first, second and third century. Mm -hmm. At the fourth century Christianity spread so habitants changed their burial uh, systems. So these are mostly bling, belonging from the first century AD to the third. Except these time also are the uh, oldest ones of this area, timelessness. Inside of Tamilises is as like as inside of Bomos. There are three funeral beds inside. Just the shape is different, and it's uh, and the top of it is earthed as a cone. That's all. It is mostly belonging to the Hellenistic period from the second century to the first century, AD. And uh, there is entrance here, and there is one uh, short aisle here, which is called Chroma. When you pass through almost, you are reaching to the uh, funeral baths. In some of the uh, timelessness has got small niches at the entrance because these were uh, royal people, and it's very interesting. Uh, every year, every year, some kinds of people were uh, bringing ladies here. For crying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are paying money. They're paying money to I'm sure it's happening sometimes somewhere in the world. They're very good in crying. Yeah, and <laughs> they they cry very, very professionally. And they are, they are collecting to the eye shits, uh, eye drops, uh, and putting in the, the carafes, and it's becoming as a holy oil. And putting niches inside and saying that we are. Uh, we want to see you, we miss you very much, how valuable you are, this is holy oil for you because of the ice drop, something like this, and they are putting uh, inside to the bu burial area. It's kind of a funeral uh, yeah. ceremony. Ceremony. Yeah. ceremony, yeah, it's, it's their culture. Maybe you're putting onion and crying. Maybe, 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 maybe. Who is craving more? Ah, oh, come on, I'm gonna pay more. Yeah, it's interesting, but it's happened. Yeah. According to the article. The name of the Hierapolis, right? Ah, what was I telling you? It was the holy city of the pagans. Actually, pagans means the people who live in village. In Christian time, when the Christian spread, city centers and the inhabitants of people pass their religion to the Christianity. But the uh, people in Latin means pagans, which means villagers, were still believing to the their old god and goddesses. So when they call pagans, means actually villagers, but it became as a people who live in villages and who believe uh, Zeus, Hades, Poseidon. So today is pagans means in Turkish and in English is people who believe uh, okay, Greek mythology, God and goddesses, or Roman mythology. Anyway, in the fifth century BC, people recognized a small cave 
which was steaming hot and poisoned. So, according to them, there are only few caves available, according to the mythology, on the earth for the people passing downside of the underworld, which is belonging to the Hades in Greek. Its name was changed in Roman period as a Pluto. And any alive creatures can't enter. If you dare it, they die. It's not possible. So they are looking some kinds of animals were dying from the fear because of the poison hot steam. So they brought some kinds of big animals such as cows. And these big strong animals had that very very fastly. So they believed that this is the uh, door of hell because the steaming hot and the poisoning, poisoning. So they thought that they found of the uh, underworld's door. Mm. So it became a holy place for them because they do believe that and it's a good evidence for them. Actually, it was a kind of chimney for the hot water and water was consisting carbon dioxide. Yeah, and okay. when the water comes surface, the carbon dioxide gas is leaving. If you steam it, if you breathe it, you die. But at that time, the technology, the science, didn't believe, uh, didn't let them to understand this structure. We know. So, first time, they make a small temple. Then, around that temple, people start to live. And you will see one of the biggest, one of, not the biggest, I can say, the biggest uh, necropolis of ancestry. Because people were coming here for two reasons. First one, for dying. For it's dying. interesting, isn't it? For dying. for dying. Because when they die here, it's very easy to go <laughs> under the world. <laughs> and they were wondering. Second thing is spring water. You saw the first one and you the hotel that you have the uh, red water in Roman period here spring waters were very popular for healing people so people were coming here for healing, healing. if they can't heal they are dying and rich people here police was you know it's holy city so it's kind of rich city because people were coming here, paying money, and the uh, rich people make their uh, tombs and graves. We will see. Mm. And you will see some kind of sarcophages here, right? And there are more than 2,000 sarcophages around this side. Three side of north.